Here's everything we're gonna be needing. We got a shovel handle. This is going to be our base. And uh, ooh, look at this. This is rare. Batteries included right here, boys. I'm gonna save these puppies for later. Yoink. Next up, we got these five saw blades. Lastly, we got a piece of poppy wood just for the uh, cross guard. So yeah, let's get to work. We're gonna start off by, uh, you know, sanding down the handle. Now we can move on to sanding the blade. Alright, so this is it, we're going to cut out. Opens like a big chopstick. We're just going to slide them in, glue them up, and rivet them. It's a pretty simple build, actually. So, I have pre-existing holes on these saw blades. They, um, um, I have like holes here, and holes here, and holes here. And I want to take advantage of them as much as, as much as possible. Because drilling through saw blades is no easy uh, endeavor, for the most part. These might be easier because they're cheaper, but I'm not sure and i ideally don't want to drill through these unless i have to so what i'm going to be doing instead is i'm going to be using the pre-existing holes which will probably just be easier anyway i'm going to be sliding them up getting them in the place that i would also these interlock which is pretty cool like if i pull on this it won't come because it's like this but the these two will interlock so that's actually pretty cool so i'm using that um for a little extra support or I'm going to be. And so what you want to do is you want to line up in the position that you want it, right? Like this. And then you slide it to the side a little bit to see where the main hole is. Main hole's here. And you get back in place. Put your finger where you think it is. Slide it. Secondary hole is here. Roughly. It's not perfect, but I think it'll um, uh, make my job a lot easier. While this awesome thing is drying, I think it's time for us to make the cross guard. Or honestly, this is really probably just gonna be a guard for myself, for not slipping down and accidentally chopping off my own fingers. Okay, so how I reinforced the guard, I uh, wasn't able to film for every time I tried to get a good angle of me doing it, it just looked really weird, uh, the specific way I was doing it. So I just figured it best to um, uh, do it off camera and then explain what I did, because it's fairly simple. All I did was I got some wood glue and I got a bunch of little wood scraps, like basically wood chips. What I do is I put them in the empty spot slot and I would use this. This is a nice little uh, jackhammer, maybe? I don't know. Don't know what this hammer's called, but whatever it is, it's great for doing this because you can just tap it in all the way till it hits the edge or beyond. And so then after that, after you got pretty much all of the um, uh, 
whole gaps covered in this and then you can't really see through it still that's when you fill it with um wood glue and you put some sawdust on top of it that you just have lying around your shop and then after this what we're going to do is we're going to trim it and then we're going to do some filing to make this all nice and smooth and look good Honestly, right now, the only thing we gotta do is prep this thing for painting. Cause that's the step we're on. How cool is that, right? So yeah, let's do that. Let's sand this whole thing down, clean it up. Yeah, get ready for painting. So I kind of lied to you. I was originally thinking I was just gonna paint this thing up and make it like really a post-apocalyptic looking, really rusty and like brown and whatever, but I think I kind of want to make this thing look um, uh, a little more professional, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm putting in, I wanted to do ruins, but I don't really like using that kind of stuff. So I did a quote. Okay, so the more and more I look at this thing, the more and more I add to it, every little detail and feature, this thing just gets more legendary. I am convinced this is one of my most legendary builds yet. Like this is awesome. Here, I'm hoping to be able to distribute the weight better by putting a very big, heavy nail in the ba bottom of the handle to distribute it a little better. Let's do some paint. Yep, it's the first snow of uh, the year, really. If this keeps up, we might have a, uh, a snowman built in our uh, roster. Let's go paint. First hit. Look at that. I knew I should have waited. Man. This thing looks so cool. I spent so long on it. Dang. Well, ain't that just the way.
pretty cool. Well, at least we know now. This bottom spot seems to be a little more secure. Well, I'll say this, before the thing, you know, died, it actually cut pretty well. So, yeah, I spent a whole week on this and, well, but, you know, I had a feeling this might not work out. Uh, when I was making this, you know, the more and more I made it, the less it turned into what I intended it to be originally, which was a prototype, and it turned more into, like, an art piece, which is okay, you know? This is gonna make a really cool wall hanger, and I actually kind of look how it, like how it looks split. Besides, this point right here, this, I knew was gonna be a weak spot, I just didn't know it was gonna be this weak. Because there's nothing really holding that on besides, like, this much wood, which snapped off. Nonetheless, this thing was so fun to make. You know, it really was. And, of course, the thought went through my head of, like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't post or make this video. But, you know, I mean, number one, I haven't posted in, like, ten days, which is a very bad streak for me. Because I've been working on this. And number two... I hate how on like social media and how influencers like only show what they want to be shown on social media or whatever they do. I don't want to be like that. You know, I hate having this idea of like a perfect person because I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. And the more and more that we try and hide that, I think it's does no one any favors. So I want to be honest with you, and to be honest, I donked this project up, you know? I should have just done it quick, and I should have made it like, uh, just like I did with my prototype for the, uh, chain can. Quick and easy. But I spent a week on this, and, uh, yeah. It was fun, of course. Obviously it was fun, but I jacked this up. And, I mean, sure, it's probably like one of the greatest failures of my career, but, I mean, hey, I had fun doing it, and you know, sometimes life just works out like that. But now, I get to remake this thing. Yes, if you thought, if you thought that I was done, and I was just gonna throw in the towel and say, oh, well, so I swear it doesn't work, you're wrong. You are mistaken, my friend. I swear to you, I swear to you, I will make a good, flip and flop an awesome saw blade sword and you will love it and i hope you can join me on my redemption and revenge arc for the saw sword please put your wisdom and your fun words in the comments and until we see each other again hmm. farewell friend <laughs>